Okay, so we decided that this section down here where you see the nice compost already laid, that's from our spring garden. And we had melons planted there um, last spring. They didn't do real great. I mean, the, the vines went crazy. We didn't get a whole lot of fruit. Um, but that area we just tilled up with our little tiller. We've got this little tiller here. So Tim tilled that up and um, it's ready to rock. We may have to add a little bit of compost to it to make it, you know, deeper, of course, but it's ready to be used. So um, we're excited for that. We pulled the cardboard up in here using that. And then Tim is filling in the lanes for our new beds for fall. So what we have done is made a lane where we're going to have a bed. And then I have walkways marked out. And then this will be our surround. We'll do like a like a raised bed, but it won't be raised. It'll just be like a surround. Um, but I'll come around the side so you can see. This is from our pine trees in our yard that we had taken down. So talk about repurposing with wonderful natural resources. So excited about that. So we're going to do that. And then where there's no... Um, compost in this section here and then this section here those are going to be walkways and then we're going to have a walkway here that goes down around our is it a guava or a papaya i can never remember um it is a pink guava a pink guava okay we planted that before we decided that we were going to expand the garden out so <laughs> it's going to stay there and we'll do a walkway around it and then um, go down. And then this big tree here is going to be moved. We're going to hook it up to some chains to the back of the uh, truck and pull it out so that we can finish off straight down here with the rest of this garden. So uh, lots of improvement already. I can start to see it coming together just with a few beds laid out with a little bit of compost. So very excited. And of course here is our asparagus patch. So we'll get that surrounded as well with some natural wood. So Good times. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I am going to finish potatoes because I didn't get them finished last night. And then I'm going to work on onions and garlic. So those came in, I had ordered those seeds online, um, got those in and I'm gonna get them ordered uh, or get them planted. Um, and Tim is coming out, he is over here at the barn. He is gonna bring over a cattle panel. We've got these beautiful, um, beans here that are just dying to have a place to grab onto. As <laughs> you can see, they're putting their feelers out all along here. So we're going to get the cattle panel put up and um, get them going up the side of it. So that was fun. Um, I got all of the rest of those. Let me turn this around. Got all the rest of the um, potatoes planted. There is a giant ant hill going on down here. And they were trying to bite me. I don't know if you'll be able to see them moving around all in the grass there or in the ground there. So they made themselves a home. There they are. You can see them. In our bed of mulch so um the mushroom compost so yeah getting uh, attacked by ants was was great <laughs> okay so tim is over here and like i said before these are our rattlesnake pole beans so they are going to go vertical um so we are going to put cattle panel trellis up here like he's doing and then these babies here, these legs or arms, however you want to look at it, when we get them in, we'll wind them around like that. So then they will grab a hold of it and they'll climb up it. So then they'll go vertical and they'll be able to give us lots and lots of beans. 
these beans over here are bush beans. So theoretically, they shouldn't need a cattle panel trellis. Theoretically, they should bush out in the big bushes. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Last spring when I did bush beans, I ended up putting a trellis in for them. Um, but they were by cucumbers and the cucumbers kind of took over. So we'll see how it goes and uh, what we need to do for them. I also have uh, plans this week to get um, mulch and we're gonna get a truckload of mulch. We're gonna bring it in and cover all of this nasty uh, walkway cardboard here in between all of the different lanes here and uh, mulch it out in all this green space here in the middle and make our walkways so it'll look nice and they'll be nice to walk on. So we're gonna get those mulched out and then we're gonna get some more um, compost because we're gonna be pulling these, this log and these logs here. We're gonna get them out there away from this area so that from that flag back there, I don't know if you can see that little flag, we can go over that flag and then all the way down here to make more garden space. So I have other things to plant. I have lots of flowers to plant and I need to get moving on them. So. We're gonna get putting in a trellis. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So you might notice that as Tim is um, putting this trellis up at the bottom there, we have a gap of probably, what is that, about a foot? Uh, yeah, six, eight inches, maybe a foot. Maybe a foot, okay. Um, and that's because we don't need this space down here for them to climb. I mean, clearly they're that tall already. So if we do it this way, it gives us a little more space at the top so they can go higher because these will definitely be going all the way to the top, I'm sure. Particularly, like these guys are already ready to rock and roll. <laughs> this one's already up to here. Yep. So, that's awesome. It's like, I'm gonna grab hold. And down here, this one's gonna grab hold. So, as they grow taller and uh, their little reachers get longer, that's the technical planting world <laughs> term reachers they will uh grab on exciting they're looking really good i'm really happy with them yeah so far yep okay happy with that yeah okay one panel up one panel up all right so potatoes are done in these two rows i'm gonna go over here and find a place to start putting onions and garlic in and uh, move on from there. And I'm gassed up, so. Are you gonna mow? I'm gonna mow. Tim's gonna mow. Sounds good. Hey friends, so it is the next day and uh, we have more work to do. So I'm gonna get my gloves. Where to leave them? Up here. All right, gloves. Will you pull that up for me, please? Yep. Thank you. And we are going to, what are we going to do, Tim? We're going to shovel some stuff. <laughs> we are. We're going to shovel some compost. We ran up to the yard stop first thing this morning with our truck. And we got mushroom compost. Two cubic yards, which is a lot, it turns out. <laughs> Here's a, yeah. So it is full, full. And, uh. There's a lot of it. So we are going to get to shoveling and uh, then all of this area here with the, where all of the um, cardboard is laying, we are gonna put in continuations of these rows. So like here we ended, we're gonna come across here. 
here in the very beginning we ended we're gonna come across here once we get done with all of our um, beds then we can move on to uh, picking up some more of that um, mulch that we got last night and using that to do the walkways so so important safety tip which I thought about afterwards <laughs> is that uh, compost Two cubic, this two cubic yards is about 3,000 pounds. <laughs> so while it, it isn't uh, overstressing the rear suspension or the frame of the truck, it's uh, a lot. So just something to consider as you're, oh, we'll just run up and get this. Well, need to need to consider the, the load you're, you're picking up too. So. We maybe should have gotten just one at a time, one yard at a time. Maybe. So. But we'll get it out of here. Yep. So, All right. Good. Here we go. That's two. One. Yeah, well, probably, I don't know. We can do two and then we'll see how we do.
probably here because I think we're we can have it a little wider. Okay. I'll put the next one there. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah. That was wrong a little.
So in the midst of doing mulch and watering plants because our um, sprinkler system is out and our guy's coming on Monday to fix that. Um, so we're hand watering with a hose right now. But in the midst of that and building trellises today and all of the things, we have located these blue barrels which are very useful for a number of things. Um, I'm going to cut one in half and make a couple of wicking baskets for um, uh, growing garlic. And then um, we may retain a couple to catch rainwater off of the roof of our um, barn. But the other thing, the main thing that we got them for is because Tim is going to build a gun range all the way out back there. We still have like three acres that direction. And so past the south pasture, I don't know if you can see, there's another fence way over there. Um, there's a wooded area there. And he and some of the guys from church are going to build a, um, a target uh, range out there so that they can bring their guns out to the farm and shoot and, and practice. So um, lots of work going on today. And we are really excited. We're making a ton of progress. We're trying to get everything done this morning that's outside because... It's hot, you can see a <laughs> sweaty mess. So it's really warm, um, but it's, it's cooler this morning than it will be this afternoon. So we are going to um, get as much done as we can outside this morning and then this afternoon I'll be working inside and I'll take you with me into the kitchen. All right, and here we are. So Ooh, a couple, two and a half hours worth of work. Yeah, very excited. We got all of that compost put down. And so that's all the planting areas. And then, you know, we still have our rows that we need to get um, mulch. So it'll look like this. Yep. And all down the middle there in the green, it'll look like that as well. So, but we made a lot of progress this morning. It is lunchtime. I'm going to go make some lunch. We do have some uh, mushroom compost left in the back of the truck, which obviously can't just stay there. So, dirty man, <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Very carefully back up through here. On this side of the tree. Yeah, this is all getting burned. We've been burning this a little bit at a time um, in the burn pit, so it'll all be gone eventually. But so you're going to put it over there by the tree, and that'll be good because it'll be close to our beds. And then if we need to add mushroom compost to them throughout the and like down at the end down here, those last two beds on that side, I have potatoes, so we may have to pile on some extra as they come up. Yeah, so that'll be good. Yep. Fantastic. That is what we have accomplished outside so far. I'm going to go make us some lunch. Right. So, until next time, be blessed. And be a blessing. Have a good day, guys. Bye.